everyone. We back at E3 2018 with our day two of the pre-show recap. This is when uh, the rest of the major press conferences went down. Yeah, there are four conferences yesterday? Yep, four. So right now we're going to talk Square Enix. Yep. We're going to talk Ubisoft. We're going to talk PC gaming. PC gaming. And by PC gaming, we're going to mean Zach's going to talk about PC gaming. Oh, and limited run. We forgot about that. What a random press conference, but I'll talk about that because they had some cool stuff. Yeah, they had some really cool stuff Let's there. Talk PC gaming. Yeah, so PC gaming was in the afternoon uh, off-site, so it was a smaller crowd. Uh, this year was a marked improvement over years prior, but uh, still struggled with a little bit of pacing, uh, a little bit of awkwardness, but there were some really good games shown there. There was a duck. There was a duck who was trying to sell cakes. It was a weird sponsored event. But there were some really strong things. Uh, one of my favorite games I showed was called Man Eater. It's kind of a sequel to uh, the popular Steam game Depth. Uh, in this game, it's a single player RPG where you play as a shark uh, with a skill tree and you level up and you can uh, basically try to ruin a lot of people's vacations. Uh, it looks really cool. Uh, it's coming out um, later this year or maybe early next year. Uh, and then one other game that I thought was really strong was called Sable. Uh, and it is inspired um, by a lot of French and uh, Belgium-based comics and also Studio Ghibli. It's a small RPG by an indie studio. It's gorgeous art style. It looked great. And um, Japanese, Japanese Breakfast, the indie artist, is actually doing the soundtrack for that game. That's right. That's right. Yeah, which I thought was really cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, ben and I watched the Square Enix show from the convention center on we, our phones. We did. Uh, that... That was an experience, and by that I mean it was an experience we already had at Xbox. Yeah. Because uh, the following games were shown at Square Enix's conference that had already been shown at Xbox. Nier Automata, Just Cause 4, Kingdom Hearts 3, which was pretty much the exact same trailer. Yeah. Um, what else? Babylon's Tomb Ball. Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yeah. No, I'm talking about the ones that were shown at, oh, uh, at oh, Xbox. Oh, oh. One more. Doesn't matter. But they also... Uh, Oh, Captain Show, Spirit. Captain Spirit. So yeah, five games were shown that were rehashed, and then the new ones were, they announced a new game by Platinum, uh, the, the collaboration that brought us Nier Automata, so Babylon's Fall. We don't know anything about it, but, you know, that pedigree is great. And then a new uh, game that looks like a brawler called The Quiet Man that gave me serious The Bouncer vibes. And The Bouncer is good, by the way. Um, I don't like the haters of that game at all. So, so he doesn't like wow. near everybody else. Wow. Yeah. Finn, talk about uh, Limited Run. What, what did you see? That you oh, yeah. one thing before that is sure. that just I, as a personal fan, the Dragon Quest XI stuff made me very happy. Yeah, Dragon Quest XI, I don't really like the gameplay of Dragon Quest games, but I think it looks amazing. Like, it looks like Dragon Quest like, brought the line. Well, Dragon Quest uh, was my first RPG, and it's the series that got me into the genre, so I'll always have a soft spot. Yeah, it's like, so, but, yeah. so Limited Run, very quick. Because all they didn't have announcements per se. It was just like all these games that you wouldn't expect to get a physical run mm -hmm. would or get a physical run. And they alone announced like over ten Vita games, which I don't think has been the case at an E three in what five years. Like that, yeah. Yeah. Actually, actually, I think the Vita showed up on the PlayStation like conference like three years ago. Yeah, for like two minutes. But they had like a game for it. Yeah. Uh, but no, they they had some really cool announcements. Um, and they're probably gonna get my money for a bunch of them. So I think it's really cool that these conferences are happening that are just streaming that allows smaller companies like Devolver and Limited Run to do these silly quirky things. And, and they're, they're mostly more fun than like the actual conferences are sometimes, yeah, they too. Just, they have fun with it. Like, like, yeah, they have a good time. Let's wrap it up with uh, Ubisoft, who had yeah. a, a solid, if uh, unremarkable show. Yeah. This year, they were missing their patented and one more thing, like, surprise blowout right. game. Everyone was expecting Splinter Cell. We didn't get Splinter Cell. Yeah, and so one of the things that, that the biggest show I, I think that people really uh, enjoyed was... Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which yes. is going to Greece, as the leaks have kind of shown. Uh, two characters, uh, but they're separate narrative choices that you don't swap back and forth between them. Uh, it looks good, the color palette is bright, but it does look kind of samey to uh, last year's Assassin's Creed Origin, so we'll see. Um, Hopefully they do enough to differentiate. Right, and I, I don't know if you guys caught this, but one more game has entered the dangerous February 2019 timeline. Mm -hmm. This is one of the most risky of all, Trials Rising. A new Trials game is coming! It's uh, coming in oh, see, yeah. I, I, like. I will uh, I will give that one a pass, if only because 
the Trials games have their own dedicated fan base, and it doesn't yeah. really bleed into the other types of games. Yeah, yeah it should be fine. Um, we saw Beyond Good and Evil two in action <laughs> for the first time in a while, and uh, you know, if they do, if they actually deliver on what they're promising, then I think the game will be uh, solid. I think what they really needed to do was show Jade and show people that it does actually have to do with the series, and they did have her pop up at the end, so that's good. Beyond, yeah. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is a chrono cross of the Beyond Good and Evil series. It just... Hey. It, it really yeah. seems like it is Ubisoft's first next-gen game that they keep pitching as current-gen, but I don't think we'll see it before 2020. You know, that, that's, that's a great point. I think it might be a next-gen game as yep. well. And we, and we saw Just Dance 2019 as well, right? Coming to the Wii and Wii U. Yeah, um, that was the game. That, that stole the show for me, personally. I'm just glad to hear that Just Dance is not dead. Finally, yeah. uh, I mean, Ubisoft showed other stuff, but I think the most important showing they needed to show that didn't really connect with me was their Skull and Bones pirate game. Because this one actually had gameplay footage and it just didn't wow me. Yeah, I think I think Skull and Bones has a little ways to go, and and the pitch. Listen, we've had a lot of pirate games, good and bad, over the last couple of years, and, and there seems to be more on the horizon. And uh, there just seems to be a little bit more with Skull and Bones to really sell that. But listen, it looks like it's Ubisoft's next multiplayer game since the service, and like they haven't let down with those yet. So speaking of, we'll For Honor went free to play. Did it? I yeah, missed that. Yeah, it did. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that'll be interesting. It'll be. Um, really telling to see if that game can pick up steam now that uh, the the beard is kind of lower. Steam. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, but Ubisoft show is just kind of like um, get it. Mm -hmm. Shut up, then. <laughs> Ubisoft shows is pretty much like you know, just, like these are games that we've already announced, and we're just like announcing changes to them. Also, Skull and Bones is not dead. Neither is just Dance on the Wii. Make Watch Dogs Three, you cowards. And Splinter Cell, please show Splinter Cell. We're gonna get Splinter Cell, but just Watch show Dogs Three. Just give me a splash screen. Need. <sighs> give, give us that Elder, Elder Scrolls 6 treatment. Mm -hmm. That's all I need. Oh, cool. Anyway, I'm Matt. I'm Jay. And I'm Zach. And we'll see you back with our Sony look. Saki bless. Saki bless.